Hey guys, it's your favorite entertainment blogger, Andre J. Thomas, bringing you another behind the scenes exclusive. This week, we have music producer Kevin Lows. Kevin Lows is known for his work with Def Jam Recordings. To kick off our interview, I asked Mr. Lows what is the one key element he looks for in an artist. And interestingly enough, this is what he had to say. Um, don't wait for me to give you a thumbs up. Uh, don't wait for me to tell you how many followers you have. Go out there and build your own audience. Okay. Build believers. Don't build followers or thumbs ups or likes. Okay. You know, I think you should build believers, people who believe in your music, believe in you, and believe that you provide uh, something different for, for them in their everyday life. I have to agree with Kevin. Many people have to learn to build believers. To continue our conversation, I asked Mr. Lyles, what is the biggest mistake that artists make in the industry? To my surprise, he said many people want to be imitators. Uh, imitation. Uh, they're trying to sound like somebody or be like somebody. Yes. And uh, I, I want people to be more original. Like we keep speaking about Prince. Prince was a one-on-one. Mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder, a one-on-one. Yes. Bruce Springsteen, a one-on-one. Bon Jovi, a one-on-one. So you're telling them to be themselves and be original? Be themselves, be original, and, and innovate around your music, around your stage show, around how you dress, and how you communicate with your fans. Are you enjoying this interview so far? To all of my Woodlawn High School graduates, Kevin Lau says it's okay if you guys want to keep claiming him. But he clarifies which Woodlawn High School he really graduated from. Well, I always joke around people, because I went to a place called Woodlawn High School. <laughs> a place, okay. Uh, people, there's two Woodlawns, and there's mm -hmm. probably a lot of Woodlawns, but I'm from Baltimore originally. Okay. So I went to Woodlawn in Baltimore. Oh. I married in Birmingham. Okay. And so my wife is from Birmingham, her, her in-laws are from Birmingham, and Coach Jones coached at uh -huh. Woodlawn. Okay, so, so that's kind of interesting. That's that's where it came from. But I like Baltimore, Birmingham. So does Woodlawn ever steal you as an alumni? Since <laughs> well, they don't say Woodlawn where, so I guess so. You know what I mean? Woodlawn is Woodlawn to me. Well, that's my time, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this amazing interview brought to you again by Andre J. Thomas, entertainment blogger. If you like this story and you would like to read more of my stories, please visit my website at www.andrejthomas.com. Again, that's www.andrejthomas.com. Now, back to one of the hardest working Saturday evening teams in Birmingham. If you don't know who it is by now, it's the Joe Lockett Show on Superstation 101.1 WYDE.